now git is going to uh, look at the entire file system file system is the project file system let us say the project is having a directory in that there are subdirectories in the subdirectories there are files now this is the entire file system of the project now git is going to take the snapshots of the mini file system so mini file system is the project file system it is going to take the snapshots of it periodically periodically means it need not be time wise whenever any event happens or whenever user says that they want to create a new version so whenever that happens it is going to create a snapshot and it is going to save the snapshot as it is now that snapshot is nothing but the version right and if you want to open that particular snapshot you can give the whatever version number you want and you can open it okay later we shall see it and coming to the differences between the other version control systems and the git is see there are various other version control systems but then git is the uh, most widely used right so like you have svn bitkeeper bk there are many many version control systems but then git is the uh, most widely used now let's see what are the what are the differences between other some other uh, uh, you know version control systems and then git see i'm not saying that disadvantages or advantages what are the differences so everyone has their own implementations now if you look at the other uh, uh, version control systems what they do is in the version 1 whatever initial files you have created they are all going to be there in version 2 if you have not created any new file if you are only change making some modifications to the existing files then it will take only the changes and it will store it in the version 2 for example for file 1 if you have made some modifications right the changes only those changes will be stored in version 2 and if for, if for file let us say file b you didn't make any changes then nothing will be stored there and for file c if you have made some modifications only the changes will be noted down here right now only the changes are noted here and they will be left as it is and other things will not be stored so the base files are present in version 1 and the changes are present in version 2 now if you try if you try to open the version 2 code and if you try to open the file a in version 2 then what happens is the system the version control system itself that will try to apply these changes in the file a on the file a on the go and it will try to show you the entire code and it might take some time in not to apply these changes on this and show it to you right yes time is going to be wasted but space is actually saved why we are not going to save the entire file that is why space is going to be saved right so here they are trying to save the space but then the system may not be very fast right now coming to git what it does is whenever there is a file a and if you try to apply some changes to file a then it will try to apply the changes to that file and create a new file now this new file is nothing but the changed file and it will be stored in version 2 right if you don't do any modifications to b then it will just leave a reference to the file b which means it, there will be a pointer pointing to the file b from the original one now if you have made some changes to file c then whatever changes you have made those changes will be applied to c and that new copy will be stored here now if you want to open the version 2 it will directly show you all the files it need not do any computation right here the space might be more but then time is less got it so git is going to use follow this kind of implementation so whenever you want to open any version it will be fast in git compared to other versioning systems okay